Hello my gorgeous Cancer, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely fantastic, truly wonderful. Cancer, let's get straight into it. I don't like to lose any time, let's dive in head first. Cancer, this week I want to talk about someone very specific that you are thinking about. Perhaps they're still in your heart space, they're at the back of your mind. It's about you and them not you versus them there's no battle here to be won right it's just you and them and i want to concentrate really focus on the most up-to-date current energy between you and this person what is really going on so let's do this let's do a good shuffle for my beautiful cancerians let's do this and as i shuffle of course cancer i do encourage you to subscribe to this particular channel. That way you are guaranteed to never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I, Fifi, do for you here in Australia every single Thursday. It is the 11th of July, 2024. Now all we can do is look forward to the second half of the year. So here we go. Oh, we've got a bit of stuck energy, okay. Also, Gigi has already released your, um, your weekly Love Tarot reading for this week. It's already in your dedicated playlist. And this Saturday, we will all see you for your time-stamped bonus weekend Love Tarot reading. All right, last one, please, for my beautiful Cancerians. Also, all the information, if you wish to book one-on-one -on -one with Gigi. Um, she covers all personal readings. Um, she can cover romance. Um, finances, career, and everything else in between. All that information to book is in the description box below. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, last one, please. All right, Cancer, here we go. Bottom of the deck, you've got my number one favorite card. Every time I see this, I just wanna, I wish I knew how to do a backflip or just jump really high, but I'd probably break my back. My number one favorite card, we've got the sun. Leo energy. Now, Cancer, we are still officially in Cancer season, but when Cancer season is over, we are going to step, literally roll into Leo season. So it's the number one happiest card in the deck. It's also the most powerful card. It is about pure joy, bliss, blessings, just feeling lighter. Even your health on all levels are going to be improved here because it's a card of blessings, right? Um, and it's also the card of illumination. So anything that's happening between you and this person, Either we're going to heal this or it's just going to keep getting better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We've got the Four of Wands. Now, this is my third favorite card. My second favorite is the Two of Cups, which happens to be Cancer Energy. So look at this Aries Energy with the Four of Wands. Look at that major celebration that is happening here um, between these two people. It is a very big card of reconciliation. So for those, if you are not talking to this person for whatever reason, no matter how long it's been or how recent, they're coming back home to you you represent home to this person and a big card of celebrations of just coming together of moving in together or moving back in together in due time of course and of course it's about commitment engagement marriage oh my god what is going on this is such a happy reading and i hope it stays that way ace of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy i just want you know try and act surprised right for most of you, this could be a proposal, like an engagement, could also be marriage coming up very soon. Um, and if that is not part of your reality, this is just solid commitment, though. Like out of all the aces, this is the one that you want. It's so reliable. It's just so strong here. And you've got the world and the two of swords. What is it that you have to make a decision about if you want to commit to this person after the five of swords? So clearly something has happened between the both of you, right? But now that the dust has settled, I don't think it's that bad because we have the world card. So this person may also be at a distance for some of you, they don't have to be. But the world card, the last card of the major arcana is such a beautiful card to get. It's positive, it's well respected, it's considered lucky, like the three of wands. Both of you are coming full circle. Something has wrapped up now from the past. You both le learned lessons, so pat yourself on the back, congratulations. But when we close this chapter, a brand new one starts. Very literal message, it's very obvious, but your person does think the world of you. But what I can see here is that very soon, you're gonna to have to make a decision about this person, Libra energy. You're gonna reach a fork in the road. It's like, oh, okay, this is all beautiful, but you do have history with this person. So it's like, should I, should I not? This seems so tempting, right? We've got the King of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. Obviously, something happened, right? Um, 
This person might have put you in a third party. Some of you might have felt used by this person, even though you were probably committed. Some of you couldn't even be married or talking about getting married here. But those cards, wow. Okay, let's split the deck. So we said we had the King of Pentacles. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Dare I say this is that this person is really, really seeing you as the perfect match. And Cancer, I think that some of you might see this very soon. Because, you know, even if, if you're not with this person, you're always thriving. But I feel like this person might be very, like, holding on to you. They, something's going to happen. I think you're going to feel very flattered, very happy. And it's nice, you know, when someone goes above and beyond when they really want to be with us. Of course, I would be flattered as well. But do not underestimate the power of the sun. This is what's brewing underneath. It's simmering that we can't see it yet. All right, let's talk more. Oh, my God. You're getting really some of the beautiful major arcanas more leo energy with the strength card look at this which speaks of unconditional love and approach this person with honey instead of vinegar not upset or aggressive because we may actually regret it there is something here you need to see for yourself we need to hear it from the horse's mouth you know as that saying goes ah oh, well it's also about eternity literally going from strength to strength despite what happened in the past i feel like this person's grown up they're really picking up I don't know where they're getting it from though, but it's within them and that's fantastic. It's like those reserves of courage, of strength here to face you. What is it? Why are we getting, I'm getting goosebumps now. We're getting so many major arcanas. Now as a rule of thumb, um, when we start getting a lot of major arcanas, as we're seeing here, it means that things are going to happen a lot more faster because you are both ready. Things are going to start moving fast. We have the death card. Look at that Scorpio energy. It's linked to your fate where we have death instantly replaced by rebirth and transformation here. In other words, Cancer, this is the reboot of the relationship. It's the 2.0 version where both of you are going to shed your old selves, right? Old ways of thinking, of doing things, um, of saying things. There's both of you, it's like this shiny new version of this relationship. Three of Wands, another lucky card to get, Aries energy. So, for example, if any of you have been waiting for this person or just secretly hoping to get any sign, any signal, anything that this person still cares about you, you're not going to have to wait that much more longer. In the meantime, your person, I will say, they are also waiting for the right time. I feel like they they know what they want to do. They know what they want to say. Clearly, they want you. It's like, I think they're just waiting for the right time. And I think it's only because they could be delaying or procrastinating themselves um, quite a bit because again they could be intimidated trying to build up their confidence their self-esteem here to face you because I, okay I'm seeing that the past wasn't perfect um, obviously your person did something and look at that you got my favorite night the knight of pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy this shows a passage of time so cancer when was the last time you saw this person even if it was recent it just feels like it's been forever for some of you, literally, this could be more than a year ago. More than a year ago, literally. So now they're coming here with, you know, messages, changes, offers, and transitions of the solid kind. They really want to offer you something quite solid. They've been thinking about this. They have changed. Like, if they were kind of practical, now they're even more practical. Loyal, believe it or not. More grounded, more realistic here that you've got every right to say no. But boy, they're being hopeful. They've been doing a lot of planning here. Yeah, look at this. We have the five of wands, Leo energy. So they don't want to fight with you. This is probably why I think they could be quite intimidated, a bit scared. That's why they need the energy of the strength card, right? Um, I believe here they're worried that there could be arguments, um, that you're probably upset with them, that you'll bite their head off there, for example. So, Cancer, the question for you is, if this person were to slowly, but of course, usually it's always unexpected, if they were to return, what would your reaction be? Would you welcome it? Would you suddenly feel very triggered by this person? It's right underneath the death card. So, even though each card is on their own, they all are connected. And I, I'm really picking up that um, this really may be the end of tough times. There's potential. Seven of Wands. Wow, look at this. More Leo energy. So, I, you know, we've got so much Leo energy. You might literally be dealing with a Leo. It could be strong in their chart, but I'm really getting this in terms of timing. This might happen around Leo season and it's not that far off, right? Like I said, it's after cancer season. So that is you right there, right? Yes, you've got your walls up. You may be a bit reserved, a little bit apprehensive, like, oh, listen, I'm not sure or 
I need time to think about this. Despite, you know, your person is going to have a lot of determination here. Despite the challenges, despite the odds against them, any odds and the separation, they will do whatever it takes here. So there's this fighting energy here, but fighting to be back in your life, fighting to get your attention, right? Fighting for you to see that um, they're not a bad person anymore or that they're not going to hurt you. Split the deck. Are you kidding? We got the sun twice. Like double happiness, double power, double blessings. So yes, they do come in peace. They are coming with good intentions. Something has changed about them. There's more maturity. They're more accountable here. I feel like they're going to be a bit more quiet. It's only because they probably know the gravity of the situation. They may be, you know, skating on very thin ice. Two more. Last one, please, for my beautiful Cancerians. Excellent. So they're showing me the number eight. I'm not sure why, but of course, eight is the number of eternity, but we'll see. Four, three. Oh, okay. Two. Last one. Here we go. What do we have here? Two of Swords, yeah, you're gonna have to make a decision quite soon, actually, sooner rather than later. Two of Swords is um, Libra energy. You're at a fork in the road. It's like, okay, do I give this person a chance or do I go that way? But I see here, it's like, you're trying to remove emotion. It's like, I need to make a logical decision. What is the right decision here? I would say here, do what feels right. There is no wrong answer here. Absolutely there isn't because it can be very personal. Let's see, mm, you got the surprise card. Oh, the sun's coming through. Uh, coincidentally, you've got the rays of the sun coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. So yeah, we do have an apology and we do have small messages, communicate. Literally, your person will be dropping hints and I've picked that up with you in the past. So I like it. The energy, the messages are consistent here of a budding romance. An apology maybe. Ah, now we're understanding, right? We saw the Three of Swords. We see the Three of Swords again. Apologies for putting you in a third party, for breaking your heart here. You know what I like, even though this is a card of sorrow, it does come with a lot of healing, the chance to forgive as well. There is always a positive side to the Three of Swords. Yeah. Wow, this person really wants to talk to you. We've got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is like literally the queen, right? Regardless of gender, the queen, the guru, the master of communication here about the world. Look at that. Scorpio. Pis uh, sorry, I was going to say <laughs> um, Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Leo and Aquarius. Some, yeah, I feel like if your person was in a third party here situation, um, they actually ended that. Look at that because now they want to talk to you. There we go. The Queen of Cups, regardless of your gender. Definitely seeing two queens, third party here. And the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. There, there might be some issues on your persons and they might actually tell you this. It could be separation, divorce, court proceedings. Um, money, assets being divided, spousal support, child support here. Let's see. They want to heal something with you. Seven of Wands again. There it is. They're going to fight for you. They want to fight for this. They're a little bit frazzled. As you can see, they've got two different pairs of shoes on. So, mm, okay. The Strength card, please. Oh, I've got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's, we're going to have to make decisions here. Capricorn Energy. And I feel like your person's also doing this. How do I approach cancer? Oh, what if I send them a letter? Oh, but what if I call them? Is that too much? So yeah, this is not a time for your person to start doubting themselves. In fact, I kind of like the fact that they're building up this courage now to kind of narrow down their decisions. You see, for them, it's like, how do I approach cancer? But for you, it's like, do I respond? Do I not respond here? They're still going to do it. Even if they're nervous, they're afraid. They're apprehensive, worried that there's going to be a conversation or that leads to like, you know, anger and all that. They're still going to, they're still going to approach you. The death card, please, is the end of being single, perhaps. The nine of pentacles, Virgo energy is my singles card. It's the minor arcana, of course, of the empress, which is Taurus Libra energy. Wow. Um, Kanta, I don't, I really am inclined to say that in due time, of course, but I don't see that you're going to be single much more longer. No. Um, if anything, you know, I, I see here that you're really focusing on other areas of your life, your professional life, your stability, your foundation. But even if you were together with this person, you're still quite independent. You have a lot of dreams to accomplish. 
And I love that. Everything that you have experienced has led you to this moment in a position of power. I just see that both of you are not going to be single. I see that you're going to be attached. The three of wands, please, brings the dreamer. That is the full Aries energy. Look at that. So from the world card where we wrap things up, right? The end of a cycle that has rolled over to the full so your person here is going to bite the bullet. They're going to do it anyway, right? A lot of people say, I'm going to shoot my shot. I'm going to do it, right? <laughs> um, this is all about brand new beginnings, despite your person knowing here the challenges between the both of you that, well, thinks that they did that, right? They believe in this. I wonder what triggered this person. I feel like they, were, they always felt this way, but it's to the point now where they know they need to take action. So the Knight of Pentacles, please. It brings the Two of Wands, Aries energy. Look at that taking that first step into the unknown and hoping that you will meet them in the middle with all these twos. Yeah, it's all about choices. It's about decisions of coming together. And then what happens after that? We're going to take it slow. Let's talk about that five of wands because I feel like your person is skating on thin ice. Well, I knew it. I, I, I said fight, but it's more fighting for you because you got my number one favorite 10. 10 of cups is Pisces energy and that rainbow there with all those beautiful cups represent within within 10 months a lot can happen right from now until the end of the year and of course in next year 2025 can't believe I'm saying that um, can really show you all the blessings now that is a very big card of reunion of commitment engagement marriage domestic bliss just harmony between the both of you finally coming together we're going to make this work better it has to be better right because of that death card Seven of Wands, please, brings. That rolls over straight into the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy, that's the second fastest moving energy in the deck. So regardless if this person is near or far away, it's Cupid's arrow, it's love messages, and they're all coming toward you. It's a quick, sudden flurry of activity. It's quick, rapid movement. And what I like is that the movement and the messages are always so positive. I see that you're gonna move forward with this person. We've also got the ego card. We've got um, the devil, which is Capricorn. Oh, it's a bit bright. Sorry about that. There we go. Capricorn energy. And we've got the ace of wands. I'm trying to find an angle here. <laughs> Should close the curtains. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So these are quite passionate cards. It's a physical side of the relationship. So you get my drift. Um, there's a lot of late night fantasies here about you. But make no mistake, they're not just approaching it because of the passionate side, right? The sexual side of the relationship. No, there is a lot of love here, right? But yeah, I feel like your person is very infatuated with you. They are kind of desperate for you to accept that Ace of Wands. Wow. Got the Emperor. Aries energy. They will be taking action. Big, bold moves. And the closer they get to you, the more they start to talk to you, what happens is that their confidence starts to really go up here because now they're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. They're seeing that possibility here. You have nothing to worry about, Cancer. I understand your apprehensions here. We have judgment, Scorpio energy. Yeah, that's all about renewal. It's actually you're making this decision on your own without any influence of giving this person another chance of bringing this back to life. And with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're going to make a quick decision. And we're actually, I see that you're going to go forward with this person. These are very, now it starts to get a bit more fast now, this energy. But, you know, this is definitely far from over. This is definitely not over. And, you know, what I like is that the sun, when it makes, because it's such a powerful card, such a happy card, it does soften the effect of any challenging cards that we have here. So no more third party, no more interference. This person is literally coming to you and away. They're literally moving away here, um, wrapping things up from whatever that three of swords represents. It's like, I'm just here and I'm only here for cancer, no one else. So... Power to you, Cancer. Now we know this is the most up-to-date, in-depth reading between you and this person. The big energy check-in. This is looking good. I actually like this. So I think this reading is more for those, um, Cancer, if you really want to hear back from your person, if you want to take it to the next level and work out your issues and differences, the cards are pretty much blessing this reading. So thank you again. We'll see you this Saturday for your weekend bonus love tarot reading. And don't forget to check out Gigi's reading if that does interest you. It's already in your playlist right now. All right, power to you, Cancer. Bye.